Hallelujah. Wonderful day again. God bless you real good. God bless you. God's children all over the world, you are blessed. I am so glad, I'm so happy once again to be here to talk about the Word of God. And I so much believe that you are being blessed. You are blessed every day. You are blessed every minute. You are blessed every hour that God is busy doing it for you and for all of us. I thank God for your life. I am happy to see you once again. Thank you all of you that subscribe to this channel. Nothing but for us to open the eyes of the people, for us to take over the kingdoms of this world from the hand of the evil men and the evil women, from the hand of the occultic men, occultic pastors, occultic, occultic preachers that is sucking the life of God's children. Today, before I go ahead, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for all of you. I thank Jesus for all of you that subscribe to this channel. God bless you real good. God bless you. Bless your family. Bless everything that concerns you. And please, your subscribing is just for you to use this to open the eyes of your brother or your sister if you truly love them. To open the eyes of God's children all over the world, wherever they are. For them to know that the time of the evil ones is, is over. Their time is up. Now they are in trouble. They are in trouble. But I don't want to talk so much. I want the word of God to speak. I want to speak the things that God wants me to speak today. So, because there is a lot to talk about. I am talking today about tithe. Once again, part two of the tithe. I am talking about it today. God said that it is not over. It is not over yet that I should go ahead and open your eyes to speak the mystery that is in his world. So this is what I'm about to do now. So I will be opening your eyes according to what God said to me, according to what God gave to me. I hear direct from him. So as I hear from him, I will make it known to you. So we are going to the word of God now. Before I take you to the word of God, I want to tell you something. There is never a time, there's never in the book or in the history of creation or in the in the in the east, there's never a time that God instituted a, a orphans, widows, helpless, the members to be giving one thing to the pastors. There is never I make I I, I God God Spirit speak to me clearly. There is never a time that's in God's calendar. Listen very careful. God never instituted that tithe, tithe should be given to a pastor. That you should be feeding your pastor. God never instituted such. And you will be blessed by what you're about to hear. Okay, now I'm taking to the word of God about Abraham. Abraham is the father of all the people of all over the world, every man, every woman that have faith in God, we are sons and daughters of Abraham. I want to take you to the word of God. I want to tell you what God said about Abraham. I want to show you what happened in the life of Abraham. How God blesses a man or a woman that he called or that he chose. He chose from the people to be the leader, to be the leader of his people. I want to take you to the book of Genesis now. Genesis chapter 14 from verse 18. Before I will talk to you, I want to read something for you. Book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 14 from verse 18. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the, he was the priest of, 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 God, of God Most High. And he blessed him, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God, of God most high, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hands. And he gave him a, a tithe of all, and he gave him a tithe of all. 
and he gave him a tithe of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons and take and take the goods for yourself. But Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord, God most high, the possessor of heaven and earth, that I will I will take nothing from a tread to a sandal strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you, sh lest you should say, I have made Abraham rich. Except only what the young men have eaten and the portion of the men who went with me, Anna, Eshko, and Manre. Let them take their portion. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Um, I want to tell you something. God called Abraham. God called Abraham. God anointed Abraham. God put his spirit upon Abraham. And God said to Abraham, leave your father's land and I will take you to a place that I have chosen for you. Because God put his spirit inside, inside Abraham. God anointed Abraham. Abraham went to to the Gentile, to the Gentile nation, to the nation that did not know God. Through the anointing of God, through the Spirit of God upon his life, Abraham was stronger enough to conquer the Gentile nation, Gentile nation, the nation that acquired the word, that possessed what belonged to God. Our God, most high, the Most High God, is the creator, the owner of heaven and earth. So, if you did not belong to him, the Gentile nation is the people that not that not know God, that don't acknowledge him as God, as God. So, God said to Abraham, "Everything belongs to me. I own everything. Go and 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 fought against this Gentile nation, engage them in battle, and I will be with you. I will deliver them into your hand." Abraham went to war. He fought war. He fought so many nations, the Gentile nation, and he took everything from their hand. God delivered everything from, 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 from the wicked. They what the enemy stored in their house. Abraham is able through the power of God that God empowered him. He went to war. He fought the Gentile nation. He took some of them as slaves. He took, he took their slaver. He took their gold. From the spoil, Abraham paid, paid tight. One tenth, Abraham paid tight to Melchizedek. And in return, Melchizedek blessed him. They drank wine. He blessed him. And this is how Abraham was made rich. Abraham did not go and begin to tell people, pay one tenth, pay one tenth, bring one tenth. Instead, God, if God is the most high, if God that called him and said that he should leave his father's house to a place that's taking him is so powerful, is the creator of heaven and earth. If that God is not able to prosper Abraham, people will not believe that the most high is the higher, that he is the most high. So the most high is the one that prosper Abraham. The highest thing God will do in the life of any man that he called is is just is just is giving his spirit, putting his spirit upon your life, upon your upon your life. And once God's spirit is upon a man, through that spirit, you can destroy any kingdom and take every, everything from their hand and 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 prosper God's children and be a blessing to God's children. This is how Abraham, even when Abraham, Abraham. Paid one ten. The king of Sodom was so envious of him because of the the wealth. Abraham is blessed, so blessed that he become a blessing to any man or any woman that come across his way. Because nobody can come and say that Abraham take anything from took anything from them. The king of Sodom said to him, "Give me some of the men that you." took from battle some of the people that he he, he he took captive because he engaged in war as i said to you 
the king of Sodom said, I will give you everything. Just give me the people. Abraham said, no. He said that, I don't want to give you anything and I, want to take, I don't want to take anything from you so that you don't come tomorrow and boast that you are the one that make Abraham rich. But today, let me give you one, one, one secret. Today, your pastors are busy giving you because king of Sodom is the powers that do not fear God. Abraham, Abraham is so so is so uh, 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 loving that he cares for the life of the people that he took from war. He cares for their life. He don't want to give them give them to the king of Sodom. He cares for their life. He protected he protected their life. He even, he gave he made them to be wealthy and happy and also rich people that he even took from war. They lack nothing. He said to the king of Sodom, I will not give you any one of them. Can you understand? But your pastor is busy giving you to the devil. Giving you to the devil and taking money from the evil kingdoms. You are the one. They are giving you to the devil. They are giving you people to the devil. The devil said, okay, give me the people, I will give you wealth. So they have told you, you are the one producing money. You are the one producing money for them. They, you are spiritually, they, are give, they have given so many of you to the devil. And it takes favor, good from the hand of the evil people. So Abraham did not give, did not give any of the people that he took from war. He said, no. He said to the king of Sodom, I'm not giving you any one of them. Nothing. The life of the people that he took from war is so precious. It's so precious to Abraham that he refused to give them to king of Sodom. He protected their life. But today, you are a prey. You are the one that is vomiting money. You are the one that is vomiting money to these vampires, to these blood-sucking vampires that call themselves pastors. I'm taking you some, somewhere again. Let us see, because of time, if you go through the Bible again, in the book of Genesis chapter 41, okay, let me just read it for you because this is a teaching I want to teach you. I don't want to rush it so that, so that you will hear by yourself. I want to take you to the word of God so that not say that it is not in, it is not found. I've not seen the word of God. I want to read it for you. Genesis chapter 40, chapter 41. Let's see what is there. I want to show you something again. Genesis chapter 41. Um, from verse 37. I read from verse 37. So the advice, so the advice was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And the Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a such a one as this? A man in whom is the spirit. I'm reading to you Genesis chapter 41 from verse 37 to from verse 37 to 43. I'm reading about the man, Joseph. G Genesis chapter 41 from verse 37. So the, the advice was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And the Pharaoh said to his servant, Can we find such a one as this? A man in whom is the Spirit of God. A man in whom is the Spirit of God. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. You shall be over my house and all my people. And all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And the Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. And he clothed him in garment of the uh, in garment of fine linen and put a gold a gold chain around his neck and he ha and he had him ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried out before him bow the knee so 
He set him over all the land of Egypt. This is the man called Joseph in the Bible. God gave him a dream of greatness, a dream of greatness that's going to be a great man, he's going to be the ruler, he's going to rule over his father's house, he's going to be the king, he's going to be a man of God, he's going to be a prophet, he's going to be a king. What happened? The, 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 the dream caused jealousy in the heart of his brothers. Every day he wake up, he'll keep telling them about it, about his greatness, the dream that he had, the dream that God is giving to him that's going to be a great man, going to be a king, going to be a prophet, going to be a, 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 a man of God. They did all kinds of things to Joseph, his own brothers. They threw him to peace, they bring him out, they do many things to him, they sold him. This man was suffering, but in his suffering, God is with him. Until he finds himself in prison. This is a man of God. Anointed by God. God's place is upon him. In the land of Egypt, what happened? The spirit of God is able to save the man called Joseph. The spirit of God is busy working, working in his life. Working to see that what God said about him, what God said over his life, come to pass. God's spirit that God put upon him brought him fame. That in the land of Egypt, nobody is as big as him. He is almost in the same position with Pharaoh. At the end of everything, Pharaoh confirmed that the spirit of God in this guy is great. The anointing exalted him. He, be, he became a blessing. He became a blessing to his family. Fema was in the whole land. He is the one that in return fed his brothers. The dream that God gave to him become, become reality that he is a king. He is a prophet. He is the teacher. He is the, the, the ruler of, of his people and in the whole land of, of Egypt. And he is a blessing to his family, to everybody, to the, to the people of Egypt. He is now a giver, not a receiver. He become a blessing. Even the people that tried to kill him, his own brothers, that protected evil for, him, evil for him, he became a blessing for them. He saved them. He dipped his hand from his treasures, treasures that God had given, given to him and be a blessing to his family and be a blessing to the land of Egypt. And today, your pastors are busy. You are the one that is busy feeding them. And they are telling you that they have God's spirit. Can you just listen very carefully and see what I am trying to tell you according to what God is telling me. God's spirit upon a man, God's spirit upon a woman, is to empower you to be rich, to be blessed enough to be a blessing to the nation. God said to Abraham, I will bless you and you will be a blessing. I will bless him who blesses you and I will cause him that causes you. And he said again, he said, where you have built houses and dwell in it. That you, should, that you should remember that it is the Lord your God who gives you power to acquire wealth that he may, that he may establish his covenant. The oath that is sold to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God did not put his spirit upon a man for the man to go and be a beggar, to, be go, to go and be begging for one tenth, to be going about begging for people to come and pay one tenth, or preaching about and saying that if you not pay one tenth, you cannot succeed. If you not pay on tent, you cannot prosper. If you not pay on tent, God is not happy with you. There's no, why is it that that spirit is the highest spirit? If that spirit is the highest spirit, why can't that spirit do the incredible? Why, if you have a blessing Himself, God is God is our God is blessed forever with everything. He's the owner. He's the creator of heaven and the earth, and He put part of Him inside of you. And you are telling me that that. His spirit cannot prosper you, cannot do the incredible. 
cannot go and they plunder the Gentile world. The, the people that don't know, that don't believe in God, go and plunder them. Go and they prove, prove them that his spirit is the highest power for them to believe and they release everything to you. And they are coming to be jumping up and down and talking about one tenth. For the poor people, you are anointed by the devil. Joseph did not go and beg. Joseph, the anointing of God upon his life, bless his life, prosper his life, put him in position of honor and power and glory. The anointing of God is upon his life is able to, to bring that dream to reality. He walked, he walked it out for people to believe that the most high is God above all the nations on the face of the earth. What of the man, of, man called Moses? Moses went down to Egypt in the book of, I can also take you now because I said I don't want to rush. I want to open your eyes as God said that I should go ahead and do. I want to show you something in the book of Exodus. Let us see. The book of Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Just follow me to the book of Exodus chapter 12, chapter 12 from verse 29. Exodus chapter 12 from verse 29. Just listen. And it came to pass at midnight, at midnight that the Lord struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of livestock. So Pharaoh, so Pharaoh rose in the night, he and all his servants, and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, for there was not a house where there was not one dead. Then he called then Pharaoh, then he Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise, go out from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord, serve the Lord as you have said. Also, also take your flocks and your heads, and, and as you have said, and be gone. And, and bless me also. Pharaoh was saying, telling them, and bless me also. And the Egyptians, and the Egyptians urged the people, the people of Israel, and the Egyptians urged the people that they might send them out of the land of the land in haste. For they said, We shall all be dead. So the people took their dove before it was living, having their kneading bars bound up in their cloth on their shoulders. Now, the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, and they had asked them, the Egyptians, articles of silver, articles of gold, and the cloth. And the Lord had given, and the Lord had given the children of the people, sorry, to this, and the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. So that so that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. This is the man called Moses. God anointed the man called Moses and sent him to Egypt. God put his spirit upon the man called Moses. And send him to Egypt and say, Go and show yourself to Pharaoh. If God is God, let us let's see. If Pharaoh and his magician, magicians are God, let us see. Through the Spirit of God in the life of Moses, Moses went down to, 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 to Pharaoh. Pharaoh today, Pharaoh today stands like in Nigeria, like Buhari. Let me put it like that. Pharaoh today, as you are seeing, stand as all these fake pastors. Let me put it like that because they are all magicians. Like Buhari and the, they are the magicians. Like uh, as I'm talking to you, Pharaoh and his servants, his magicians, his pastors, his evil pastors, the sorcerers, the, the magicians, the, 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 the enchanters, the necromancers, so, Moses went down to Egypt with God's spirit, with the anointing of God.
and they keep bombarding Egypt. There is nothing that Moses is doing than to be bombarding Egypt. Bombardment. Bombarding them like never before. They are manifesting their power. It, the, the Pharaoh and his magicians, his men, they are busy manifesting their power, discharging their power. It's, this is what is called war. God anointed his own people for war, anointed for battle, anointed for battle. Anytime you hear God, God said, I'm anointing, I'm putting my spirit, I'm anointing this man, which means there is a battle to fight. God is equipping you for you to go and fight the kingdom of darkness, not for you to go and be gathering the poor people and be and, and, and use them as food and be sacrifice them, sacrificing them, giving them a sacrifice to devil, turning them to food, using them to 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 to, to, to enrich enrich yourself. It's not like that. God anointed Moses and sent him down to Egypt. Moses went down to Egypt for war, for battle, by the power of God. He bombarded Egypt. Bombarded Egypt until they believed that the, the most high God, that, that the, 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 the Almighty is mighty. He bombarded them until they, they, they begin to cry. Through the man called Moses, Moses, through the anointing of God, plundered, plundered Egypt. Moses lendered Egypt useless. Render Pharaoh useless. Render Egyptians useless. Bankrupt them. Plunder them. Moses did not think about it about himself. He made the people to be the owners of silver, gold, diamond, millionaires, owners of private jets, the followers of Moses, the, the, the beggars, the slaves. Egypt, they are slaves in the land of Egypt. Slaves become, they become princes, prin they become princes and prince. Kings, Moses made the people rich that did not even dream for one day to, 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 to own silver or gold. He, he bombarded Egypt and the cause true of Israel, caused them to be millionaires, caused no, people that is nobody to be, to become, to become Somebody to become great men and the great women. They plundered Egypt. Take their silver, take their gold, take everything from their hand. And Moses did not think about himself. He think about the people. He made them millionaires. He made them somebody. I did not hear that Moses went down to Egypt and began to tell the church of Israel. And went, I, I, I went to the church of Israel where they have been tormented. Where, where the, the evil powers in Egypt is tormenting them, like it's always happening in Nigeria today. Many people, even the one that's try to get a visa and travel out of that out of that country, they still send their pastors, like you I'm saying, Suleiman, but I'm preparing for you are already gone. I you came to Frankfurt, you travel to Paris, you travel to Cameroon. What are you going to do? You are still going searching for the poor people that manage and get visa and get out of that country. You will still post to send, send these animals, send these vampires to go and search with them and go and tell them you must sow seed, you must pay one tent. God is punishing all of you. You are already dead, all of you. The anger of God is upon you, all of you, fake pastors. In Nigeria and in the whole world. The man called Moses did not think about himself. He think about the people of God. He made them rich. They, 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 all, they begin to spy. The poor, the, the, sla the, the slaves, the, 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 the Israelites in the land of Egypt, they are nobody. They are suffering. They are, they are helpless. But the, but the man called Moses, because of the spirit of God, because of the anointing of God, he bombarded the kingdom of that in the Gentile world. Pharaoh is like Satan. It's like, you know, it stands for evil, evil authority, evil nation. Anytime you hear Egypt or hear Pharaoh, it means evil, it means devil. He bombarded them until they give up everything for God's children to go and enjoy life. I don't want to talk about David, how David engaged in war and make the people rich. 
and became rich. Nobody will come and say that they are the one that made them rich. All these men of old, all the men of God of old, the great men of God. Of, because I'm taking you now from Old Testament to New Testament. None of them, you talk of Jacob, talk of, talk of David, they all went and they fought the battle. They fought evil kingdom. They, they fought the gent Why the Bible said that the riches of the Gentiles shall come to you? Gentile nation means people that don't know God. That through the power of God in your life, that they will believe that believe that there's God, and they will give up. They will give up the truth, give up everything, give up their slavery, give up the. They will give everything for the service of God, for the kingdom of God to advance, to carry dominion. I am because of time. I'm taking you now to New Testament. I say from old to new. Jesus came down from heaven. I'm talking about Jesus. Yeah, the, 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 the priest of God, the most, the, 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 our high priest. I'm talking about, about our high priest, Jesus Christ. He came down. I want to read something for you about Jesus. I want to read something for you about him so that you understand very clearly what I'm talking about. That from old to new, as I said to you, and this message is going to have past three. Past three. So today it passed past two. I'm taking you now to New Testament. New Testament, turn to the book of the book of Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eight. Second Corinthians. I'm taking you now to the book of Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eight. Verse 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 8. Just listen. I know that you're enjoying it. God bless you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 8. I speak, I speak not by commandment, but I am I'm testifying the sincerity of your law by the diligence, by the diligence of others. Verse 9. For you know, for you know. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, he was rich, yet for your sake, for your sake, he became poor, that you, through his poverty, might become rich, might become rich. The Son of Man, the Son of God, came down. He did not talk about tithe. He did not take anything, any dime from anybody. He go ahead. He said, I came because I see the pain, the groan, the things that's happening to God's people. I have seen that this evil one have caused damage again here. Jesus came down. He understands that me and you, were helpless. We are nobody. Someone like me. Nobody like me. He came down. He said, no. He, did not, he came to serve. He said, I came to really, really find out what is happening. He came for war. God anointed him. God poured his spirit upon his life with that, with that measure. He came down because the work is great. The battle is great. He came down. He faced the powers of this world. He faced the whole world. Only one man, Jesus, faced the whole world. Faced the devil and demons. He destroy all of them. He bring himself so low. He died the most shameful death to see that me and you become somebody and become rich, become happy again, become sound again, become that we receive that we, that we and you that is dying must receive life. He did not. He did not. He did not come down and begin to say, "Come and give me. Come and carry me. Come and uh, 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 worship me." Come. He bring himself down. He bring himself to nothing and died, even the death of the of the cross. And God highly exalted him and giving him the name that's above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of those in heaven, of those on earth, of those on under on, 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 on the earth, and that every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. 
he plundered hell. He rendered the king of darkness useless. He rendered he, his power is able to save him and prosper him. He, the devil vomited him. The devil vomited him and said, you are too hot. devil vomited him. devil swallowed him and vomited him. It's like what happened when I was in Nigeria. The devil vomited. The devil swallowed me and vomited me and said, no! I said, the power of God is real. A man of God is to is not is not anointed as they claim to co come and sit, and sit down and tell you pay one tenth, pay one tenth, pay offering, bring one tenth. No, it is not like that. 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 I want to read something before I said to you. Now I read. He said, for, your, for, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that through, that through, that though he was rich, for, for your sake, he became poor, that you, through his poverty, might become rich. I am taking you once again to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4 Ephesians chapter 4 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 Therefore he therefore he says when he ascended on high he led captivity captive and gave gift to men and gave gifts to men when he ascended on high he led captivity captive and he gave gifts to men wait a minute wait one minute Sorry, I'm back again. I'm back again. I want to continue. So, when he, Christ, ascended on high, he led captivity captive. I just read for you now. Ephesians chapter 4, verse, eight, verse Ephesians chapter 4, verse 8. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. And he gave gift to men. And he gave gift to men. He entered into hell and, and bombarded hell, Jesus. Bombarded the kingdom of darkness. Bombarded bombardment. A man of God is anointed to, I said to you, anointed for battle. Anointed for battle. To bombard hell. To bombard the kingdom of darkness. Not for them to sit down and be posing for you. And be telling that if not bring one tent, you are cursed. If not, bring, if not bring one tent, God will not bless you. No. A man of God anointed by God, by the Spirit of the Most High God, supposed to stand and bombard the kingdom of darkness and they cause you to become somebody. And they cause you to be rich. Jesus began to discharge gifts. When he, when, when he brought that, he took their silver, he, he, he took the gold, he took the kingdom, he took everything, he packed everything out of the hand of the devil and they discharged them back again to me. He write a will, begin to write a will again. Once he defeated the, the, the devil and, 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 and the evil world, he, he, he write a will for all his children, which I received my own will. The ministry of his will. I receive my own will as his as his servant. And I don't need anyone to bless me. The anointing of God upon my life is able to prosper me. My duty is to bombard as I'm doing. Bombard me, bombard the kingdom of darkness. And the, and the, willingly they will surrender and they will give everything. I am not begging. By force, silver and gold, diamond. Millions of dollars and pounds will gently surrender and come to me if I'm having God's spirit. That I will, so that I will use it to be a blessing to God's children. So that I will use it to preach the gospel. I will use it and the, display the glory of God. Now, who is caused? Let us now know who is caused. Is it you that is caused? 
or the pastors. Now, let us, the pastor that is in this course to you, let us know who is cost. I want to tell you a story. One rich man owns a private jet, not one, not two. He owns Rolls Royce, limousine, Lamborghini, Cadillac, all kinds of cars. He owns he owns what is called machine cars. This man owns mansions, owns schools, universities. He moves with different private jets. And something happened. There, 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 behold, there is a woman, there's a woman, there's a widow, there's a woman that is flying a color or at the, at the roadside, a woman. The woman is selling pepper, tomato, at the roadside. The woman is living in a mud house. There is no window. There is no window in this in this mud house. This woman is not. There is no cloth to put on. There is no cloth to put on. But this woman will stay at the roadside. At the, at the roadside, rain will, will fall and and fall upon this woman. Sun will we, we, we shine and, 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 and beat this woman. Dust. Dust will we, 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 we baptize this woman any time that dust flow. Smells from the gutter, from the open, open, open uh, uh, canal, suck away. Smell is dealing with this woman. But any time this woman finish selling, in a day, maybe the woman, the woman make from her sales 1,000 naira. This rich man that owns private jets, that owns private jet, owns limousine, Lamborghini, Cadillac, a, a Jaguar, a, a, a university. This rich man will come down, come down solo, bring himself solo. We bring himself solo to this woman's house and go and tell the woman, give me that one thousand naira, one thousand naira, that one thousand naira that you that you, you will make today, that you make from yourselves, give it to me. The woman will take it and give it to the man. The man say, God will bless you. And the the, 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 the man will, will tell the woman the food, the little food that you cook, give it to me to eat. The woman will give to the man. The man will also take the food from the woman and eat. Take the money away and tell the woman, kneel down. I want to pray for you. That God will bless you. Put a shame, shame on you. You are the one, you are a wicked man. You are the you are caused by God. You are caused by doing that. For taking both the poor people that is suffering. For you bringing yourself so low. Shame on you. Can't you see that you are caused? Shame and disgrace. You don't have even shame. No shame. No shame again. Shame on you. You will bring yourself so low. Go and take the little dairy the woman wants to drink. You take it away. You are a child of Satan. You are anointed by Satan. You are an agent of darkness. You are an agent of Satan. You are not a man of God. God's spirit is not, is not in you. You are devil and demons. It is not the God of the Bible. It is not the God of heaven. It's not, it's not the God that, that anointed me and anointed you. You are a disgrace to humanity. Shame on you. Shame and disgrace upon you. Shame on you. And it's time for all of you. You're going to pay double. It's a the Bible says that when a thief is arrested, that he must restore double of all that he has stolen. All of you will vomit, vomit, vomit double. Of all the things that you people have done to the poor and needy, shouting, tight, tight, offering, so seed, all of you, all of you, not only that, you people are sacrificing their life spiritually, giving them to devil. I say to you, let's see what will happen now to you, to all of you. You are cost everlasting. All of you that is doing, you are the one that is cost forever. You are cost forever and ever. Are caused all of you that is into this dirty business. You don't know God. I said to people that don't know God, you are 
cost, all of you are cost. Not you, you are releasing causes for the people, but you don't know that that cost is for you. That cost, that, that cost is for you. Okay, I'll keep watching this uh, channel. And I, I said to you that you are you are going to be giant. I am ready to see that you become a millionaire. That God, God bless you. That, but the reason why Jesus came to die is to save your soul from the hand of the evil one, like these people that is jumped up and down calling himself pastor. Jesus came to die to save you from their hand. So this is the moment I want to see that you are saved. Salvation is essential. It's more it's important. It's more important than food, than money, than anything. When you are saved, when you are saved by the precious blood of Jesus, you can now go ahead and be prosperous. I am ready to see that I keep on bombarding the kingdom of darkness. Physically, spiritually, I say to you, be, I say be warming up. Bombardment is what I believe. I believe in bombardment. I will bombard these wicked people. I will bombard this devil and demon. I will bombard their kingdom. I will keep bombarding them until they begin to vomit, vomit. Watch and see what will happen. What will happen from now? They are in trouble already. And I want to tell you, there is nothing like tithe. If you don't pay tithe, you are cost. Nothing like that. If you want to give anything to the kingdom of God, give it cheerfully. Anything you want to give, you want to give 100 naira, happily, just, just give it and, and, and go your way. If you want to give offering, anything that comes from your heart that you want to give, just give and, and God will bless you. Don't allow anyone to force you to, 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 to force you to, to, or to say, if you not give to God, God will not bless you. It's a lie. God doesn't take money. Instead, God will, will turn things around for you to enjoy life. Money, 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 they are calling. They don't have the spirit of God. That's why they are calling money because they are the thieves that came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They thank God that Jesus is in town. Jesus is in town to save you. Just accept him in your life. Go ahead and accept him. Accept him. He is in town to save you. To deliver you, to heal you, to prosper you. God bless you all. God bless you all. And what for part, part three? What part for the part three of this message? God bless you. Very good. And remain blessed. And thank you very much for all of you that subscribe. May God, the creator of heaven and earth, bless you forever.